Gotta hit. Gotta hit. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Let's figure out. Oh my god. I wish. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh is this a PB, people? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's just make sure the scale is zeroed out. No cheating. Zero. Everybody see that? Zero. Let's go in the red fence. What up, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with Reggie. Today, I can't lie, this is probably one of the most exciting episodes because today we are testing out the new, uh, mm, 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 ooh, red fin polarized glasses. Oh, uh, if this is your first time here at the channel, welcome. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's get into it, baby. All right, good people, we are gonna start with a red plum apple mondo worm. Let's see if we could get one. first cast I can't lie people I am so excited to talk to you all about these glasses because I've had them for probably a month now and I love them like let's just call it what it is I love them I wear them everywhere if I leave the house I wear them Ref and Polarize is a company that I reached out to because I thought the glasses seemed really cool I like their gear but come to find out the people are even better so I've been talking to Joey, one of the owners, and I wanted to find out more about how the company got started because I didn't want to partner with the company before, is that a bite? No, it's not a bite, okay. Woo. Thought, thought we had a bite already. I didn't want to partner with the company before really knowing about them, how they got started, and really making sure that they were a high quality company. So come to find out Joey and one of his best friends started the company and they would often get compliments on the glasses that they wore. Boom, here we go. All right, that should be a pretty good cast. They would often get compliments on the glasses that they wore and like many of us, they felt like, hey, we can do this and do it better. But they didn't want to make just any glasses, right? They wanted to make the best of the best. So they did some research to find out where the best frames were made, right? Because you got to start with a high quality frame and they realized that the best frames were made in Italy. So these are Italian made frames. If you didn't know, I wear contacts, but prior to me wearing contacts, I wore glasses. And I've worn a lot of frames. I didn't know if Italian made frames made a difference until I got these red fins. I'm telling you that right now. They are probably the most comfortable. Was that a bite? I thought we had a bite. They're probably the most comfortable glasses I've ever worn. Like I wear them everywhere because of that. Oh, that is a bite, that is a bite. Oh, there's a little tap. There's a little guy. Oh man, I was about to set the hook on that sucker. All right, let's get back out there. What was I saying? Oh, how comfortable these are. Listen, ooh. Listen, I've worn a lot of glasses in my day, but these are some of the most comfortable. I literally wear them everywhere. I've worn them Anytime I, literally anytime I leave the house, I don't leave without my red fins. But the frames themselves are amazing. High quality, extremely comfortable. And the, one of the things I like is that they have so many different options of frames. So it's not like a one size fits all frame. They have frames for literally for everyone. There are tons of different options and they look good. So they had to pair those high quality frames with some high quality lenses. So they partnered with Zeiss, a company that's been around for literally a hundred years. Oh. oh man, missed that one, missed that one. Little guy, but we can get him. All right, let's get us one in the red fins. Let's see if we could get one here and then I got another spot that we could go to. Oh, there's a bike. Oh, no, must have been a bluegill. I mean, man, these bluegill just take it. I'm gonna wait a little longer next time just to make sure I'm on them. And to test, so to test out the, these glasses, I intentionally came here because this is a place I've been before. So I wanted to see if they, the lenses really made a difference as far as being able to see in the water. Because I mean, last time I was here, I did not have glasses and I mean, I couldn't see anything. But you see the way, did you see the way that, that bluegill took it just now? You can't tell me that didn't look, at least the way it attacked it, it didn't seem like a bass. You just can't tell me that. 
Like they're taking it and running with it. And if you're gonna interrupt what I'm saying, at least be a bass. Don't be a little bluegill. Oh. Wow, I can literally see the bluegill. Okay, so that's, a, that's what I was saying. After this helicopter passes, I can see really far into the water because of these uh, polarized lenses. Another thing that I like about them that I didn't mention is that, I guess it's more about me, but it kinda is about them. I am clumsy and I break things a lot. Also lose things. But Redfin has a limited lifetime warranty on all of the glasses. So if for no other reason <laughs> that I've mentioned, if you are a clumsy person, right? If you break things or lose them, like myself, <laughs> you should definitely check them out. All right, no bites here. Let's head to another spot where I know we can catch some big ones. If you haven't clicked the link in the description to check out Redfin Polarize, why not do it? All right, good people. Let's get it. First cast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, forgot to set my bait caster. Wow. Great start to the morning. Amazing start to the morning. Okay. All of these turtles are following me. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 turtles. There are 20 turtles over here. 21. 22. They're following me. I'm not going to feed you. Weirdos. So strange. All right, look. Take that grass. Look at them. They literally all converge on the grass. Yeah, people are feeding y'all. That's the problem. I am not one of those people though. So, you know, y'all could just go away. I just want to fish turtles. Just want to fish. I'm not going to feed you. I'm just going to mind my business over here. And you should do the same somewhere else. All right, I'm out of here. Feed it, turtles. Don't follow me. All right, take two. There we go. I'll let that fall slowly. And with this, if we don't so much as get a bluegill bite, the bite is tough right now. But, okay, look, we just scared something away. There's some fish over here, man. Oh, this is a nice one. Come here. No, no, no. Don't get wrapped around that. Don't get wrapped around that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is a nice one, guys. Oh, it's a nice one. Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Let's go. Let's go. First cast. Oh, my gosh. Woo, baby. Oh, is this a PB, people? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, look at this one. All right, we gotta weigh it. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. It's a chunk. All right. All right, peeps, what are we thinking? What are we thinking here? Two, three pounds? I'm gonna go with just about three. we got here oh wait 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 let's just make sure the scale is zeroed out no cheating zero everybody see that zero two point four three two point four three all right peeps not a pb but are we happy about two point four three yes we are oh my god this is so fat all right peeps Get the release on this one. Oh, we're really in here. We are really in here. Here she goes. Yeah. There she goes. Oh, oh there he goes right there. Wow. Let's go, baby. That was our first cast on the Mondo worm, baby. We just switched. We weren't catching them on the chatterbaits. It's really murky water. 
but we thought maybe so a lot of vibration would help. It didn't. We went slower. The slower presentation is what got that one. So let's see if we can get on another one and let's figure out. Oh my God, I wish. Oh my gosh. I, I can't even describe what it was. That big splash just now in the water. But all right, let's see if we're on a pattern. Let's go in the red fence. All right, people, man, we were just slowly bouncing that up, going real slow. We're fishing weightless. And from the last time I fished here, I knew that you could get some hits near that pole. Like I knew that the bass hang out around this area. So listen, we're going slow, letting it fall. Thought I had another bite just now. The crazy thing is on that last cast, I felt like I saw my line moving quite a bit, but I wasn't really sure and it wasn't moving a lot, but it wasn't, I saw a couple bait fish swim away, like little shad looking fish. And I was like, uh oh, there's a fish over there. Sure enough, there was, and it was going for my worm. There are some big ones in here, people. I think, I'm not quite sure. I think the, with the water temperature dropping, these fish are probably becoming more lethargic. So that's probably why this slower presentation worked. But we, you know, we really gotta catch at least two to really know if it's a pattern or not, or if we just got lucky. Oh, I think, I think it was taking it. Dang it. I think I should have just moved a little slower. It felt like, it looked like my line was just drifting away but I didn't feel anything. I just saw it being carried away. So maybe the fish didn't have it all the way in its mouth yet. Oh, see, got some activity over there. I'm telling you, the fish are in this, this area for sure. Who doesn't want an easy worm as a meal? Definitely feels like it, my, line, my worm is getting picked up just based on what the line is doing. Eat it. I'm gonna make some casts over here too, because maybe there's a one or two just hiding right up right over there. There we go. That's right around where all that activity was just now. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, a little bit smaller. Uh, hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, stop it. Whoa. There we go. Okay. Listen. This is definitely significantly smaller. Look at this guy. See you later, bud. Way smaller. But the thing there that we realized is that, hey, now we're on a pattern. They're going for the blue-black Mondo one. So we'll take that. This also tells me that they're probably, may, they probably are feeding on bluegill. I thought I saw a shad earlier, but I mean, I don't know. Listen, what I do know is they want a slower presentation right now and this Mondo worm is it. Oh my God, right there. Hey, didn't I tell you a second ago I was gonna make a cast over there? It looks like I'm gonna make a cast over there right now. All right, that literally was right where that blow up was right where it was all right good people now that we've caught a few on the mondo worm i'm actually gonna try a plum apple zoom worm. significantly longer this is probably this one 
I think it's a 10 inch. Can't actually, don't actually see it on the package, but I think it's a 10 inch. We're going to rig it the same way we've been using the other ones. I probably should use a slightly larger hook. Actually, I am going to use a larger hook. So let's switch this out. All right, here we go. We're going to see if switching up the worm changes the bite at all. First difference we definitely notice is casting distance. We can def definitely cast further with this um with this worm let's see if we get more bites with the bigger worm that's really what we want to see like do we get more bites are the bites bigger it's not quite apples to apples ha 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 because it's plum apple get it but it's not quite apples to apples because we were using a, a blue black fleck mondo worm and this is a plum apple but still it's still dark enough where i think it's still dark enough where i think it still matches the water clarity because it's so stained in here we want to use darker colors and i still think the plum apple is dark enough it's not like yellow you know lime green so we'll see maybe we get less bites but bigger fish Ooh, not exactly where i wanted it but man that definitely hits the water more aggressively too sheesh not quite as gentle as i as i wanted it to be don't want to scare off any fish. There you go. That's a good cast. A couple more casts with this big old fat worm. A couple more casts with this worm and then we're going to go back to what we were using before. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Come here. Come here. No, 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 yes, let's go, oh, whoo, whoo, another fat bass, whoo, oh my gosh, people, adrenaline is rushing, Ugh. all right, good people, let's get a release, this one really quickly oh wow oh bye bye bass oh i can see it from away Woo! all right so we tried out the zoom plum apple worm i think this is tw 10 or 12 inches i can't actually i don't remember uh and the package does the package doesn't say so i don't remember what it is but our theory might be correct in that Using a bigger worm, we get less bites, but bigger fish. That one was just about two pounds, way bigger than the last one I caught on the Mondo worm, which is probably about eight inches. But let's see if the next fish that we catch is also a big one. And then, then we have our theory. Let's get in there. Something that I noticed about that last bass that I caught, because I forgot to check the gripper teeth of the first two bass, but on that one, the gripper teeth really weren't as sharp. So that tells me they're eating on something harder. So probably crawfish. I imagine there's probably some crawls in here. So maybe we could even switch to a jig or something. Yeah, maybe a jig with a craw trailer, something like that. It's really important to check the teeth of the bass that you catch because it just tells you a lot of information. If they're really sharp teeth, then that tells you that they're eating on fish. So that's helpful to know. If they're dull or just not as sharp, then they're probably eating on crawfish, some type of crustacean. And if they're bloody, like you see a lot of red around the lip, which that one, I don't think, I don't remember seeing a lot of red around the lip of that one. But if you do see a lot of red around the lip, then that means they're feeding at the bottom and probably like hitting rocks and stuff at the bottom as they're biting their, uh, their prey. All right, this is the second action I've had right next to my worm and I need y'all to go for the worm, people. Every time I'm about to leave this spot, we get a fish. So, oh my gosh, you saw that blow up right by my worm, right by my worm. Come on, that that would that had to be at least three pounds. That fish, did you see that? Oh, bad angle. Uh, you might not have seen it. You might not have seen it, but it was a really big blow up, right, literally right next to where I cast it. So, if you saw it nice if not 
I'm sorry, but that fish was big. That was probably three or four pound, can't lie. But listen, it's okay. We'll, we're probably gonna catch it and then you'll see it. So it'll be good. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh man. It, oh my gosh, broke me off. I was telling you guys about that corner. I told you, I just need to cast there like every 15, maybe 30 minutes. Soon as I dropped it in there, must have dropped it right on the bass's head, took it, ran off with it, popped my line. Yeah, dang it. All right, Tom Town, another um, zoomer. It's red plum apples uh, doing us well. Also, what do you think about the shades? Cause I'm really liking them. Really, really liking them. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. all right good people we've had a great day of fishing to say the least if you're looking for quality premium eyewear these lenses are anti-scratch anti-fog uv protection you name it they do it and the frames are incredibly comfortable definitely got to check out the red fins until next time fins up